Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. So I'm down the plot today uh, because there's a break in the weather. Uh, we've had horrendous weather here. It's had rain after wind, after rain after wind. Uh, and I just haven't had a chance to repair the greenhouse yet. Um, so that's my job today. I'm gonna repair the greenhouse. Um, I'm gonna show you around as well, just show you what's growing because there's a few things I'm actually gonna pick and take home and there's a few things I just need to whip out, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, and then I'm also going to put in, so the pots behind me here, um, I've got some peas, some meteor peas that you can plant over winter. So I did try them outside one year and they didn't really take off. I think mice or something got them. So I'm going to repair the greenhouse today and then I'm just going to put some peas in um, just to keep stuff growing in the greenhouse over the, the winter months. So that's the plan for today. So firstly, I'm going to repair this hole in the greenhouse. So, I'm gonna set you up on the tripod and we're gonna do it. So I don't know if you know, so with greenhouses, you have to use these clips to hold the glass in. So you just pop the glass in on, you know, in, in your greenhouse and then you fix it with these, I think they're called Z clips and you just ping them in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna ping these in, just to hold the glass in place. And then you just use, some little hooks which I might have to nab one off one of the others because um, hmm, I don't know where it pinged off to so I might have to just borrow one so right so here we go let's do that now so literally as I was going to literally set you up on the tripod set you up on the tripod and it literally started raining again and I'm pouring down um, it's just so nice listening to the rain, you know, sitting in your greenhouse, sheltering from it and just listening to the rain. It's just nature, isn't it? So I've had a really like rough couple of weeks and just coming down here today and over the last few weeks, actually, and just sitting here and just having my thoughts to myself and bits like that listening to the rain while I'm sat sheltering the greenhouse it, it's kind of I don't know it's just it's just kept me as me <laughs> if that makes sense um but yes um it's just really nice to hear nature um at its best or, or worst whatever way you want to think of it but yeah right now I'm going to repair the greenhouse <laughs> okay so this is the the hole. I've got my Z clips that were holding it on, but I can't find those little little clips. I'm sure I had some in the green in the shed. I'll have another look in a minute. But I just want to see if this fits firstly. Because I did kind of measure it in the dark. Too big. <laughs> it never goes your way, does it? It's annoying. <laughs> so I'm not going to repair the greenhouse today. Um, that's a really annoying. Um, but the main thing is I've got the glass, so. I guess I can get a glass cutter and cut it to size. I just need obviously the measurements properly. So I'm going to measure it properly because I measured it in the dark. That's probably why it doesn't fit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to measure it properly. Probably see if I can get a glass cutter because it's probably going to be cheaper than getting the glass again because that was £12 for the two. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get on with the... Um, sowing of the peas now and I've actually found some garlic so I'm gonna put that in a, a pot as well <laughs> why not so yeah so these are I got these from Premier Seeds Direct these are pea meteor which are first early um, 
and they're just an overwintering one um so it's got 420 seeds so i'm not going to seed all of them i'm going to keep some of them but yeah just going to pop some of them in now So that's the uh, peas done, that's the greenhouse not done. Um, yes, that's that. So I'm just going to show you around um, and I'm going to show you why I grow some things in the greenhouse over winter. If you take a look at this patch right here, this has been grown in the greenhouse and it, it's a little slug eating, but it's not, it's not as bad as what's outside. So if I show you what's outside now, you can see there's, there's hardly anything left of it now this is six plants that i planted here um and they've just gone and this unfortunately is is where the slugs have their field day in this bed so they're obviously still there um but yeah you can see the pat choy and the radicio in the greenhouse it's hardly touch so yeah i think pat choy i'm, I'm definitely going to grow in the greenhouse from now on i, I saw from danny at the grapevine garden um i'll put a link to his channel um but he grows pat choy in hanging baskets so i think i'm going to try that as well so i'm going to grow some in pots here on the ground and then at the other greenhouse i'm going to put some in the um in the hanging baskets probably a little bit late to sow them now but my thinking is because they're in a greenhouse they might be okay never know what have i got to lose so while I'm out here, I'm just going to show you a few bits that are really growing well. Um, so I'm really pleased with this here is the garlic that's come up. Um, so I'm really pleased with garlic because it's, well, yeah, it's just come on. Um, it, last year it took really long time for it to start growing. Um, and you can see it's already started growing already. So. It, it's much better than last year already um, coming here we've got the broad beans um, so these are the broad beans that I've sowed um, I'm actually probably just gonna have to stake them just so they stay in touch but yeah other than that they're looking really really good um, we've also got the kale so this is the um, Cavallero, Cavallero Nero kale um, that's really growing well and just next to it I've obviously got the Brussels sprouts so I'm going to pick some of them probably just to try and take home never chase the cow so we'll see what happens with that um, coming over here we've got the carrots 
so these are some carrots that I sowed um, and they're just looking really good just really need to sort out this bed a little bit um, the dwarf French beans are now finished so I'm going to take those out at some point not today but at some point and just refresh this bed a little bit um, and then over here we've got the rogue raw beans so I've just kept them in um, just to see how they go um, so we get an early start and then coming over here so we've got the the pond so the pond is looking really good I'm really pleased with it water's really cleared um, just looking really good now um, and then we've got the leeks just behind me uh, which is coming on really good as well so so yeah really pleased actually um, with how it's all gone I'm disappointed that I can't get that greenhouse fixed I really wanted to get it fixed uh, but it's one of those things it's one of those things so can't have them all and um, so I'm just going to pop up the second plot now just to see how that all is and just show you the new lighting that I put in the greenhouse there as well okay so I'm down at the second plot um because I say I, li I like to just come up here and just check everything's okay uh, I'm not actually I'm not actually planning to do anything but I just like to check everything's okay have a look around maybe just potter a little bit so yeah so I'm actually going to check I've got some glass in the shed Sorry, I've just noticed someone's just left a wheelbarrow on my plot. Bizarre. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to check. Where's that come from? Oh, um, it, it looks like one of the community ones. So yeah, but I'm going to check that. Um, but yeah, just have a look around really and see what's going on. So um it needs a little bit of a weed and a tidy up here um but the weather's just meant i haven't been able to get down here um so i've just done it in between but it just desperately needs to have a really good weed through um but yeah i mean coming through um little bits so we've got the the sort of garlic coming up here garlic's looking really well actually um glad that got planted up um the onions I've planted over here, they haven't come up yet. Um, so we shall see. I mean, the, the soil does get quite wet here, but it's also quite stony, so it should have it should have good drainage in it. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, now we've got coming over here, we've got the, the leeks. They're still pretty going pretty good. They're muscle bro leeks. Um, and then coming over to this side, we've got the Brussels sprouts. Um, so just you know a really good good few things still growing which is really good so yeah it's, it's nice that it's mid-november and there's still stuff growing so yeah really good so i just wanted to show you this lighting so and they're just little bulbs that um you just hang so they're hung up by these greenhouse hooks just literally put them in the ridge of your greenhouse twist them and then um do the the bolts up and it just holds them up so really easy to hang them and i just got this off amazon so it's just a little pull battery uh but yeah it looks quite good so when i come now i can uh so when i come now i can have light it um, makes such a big difference, such a big difference. And talking to the greenhouse, I've actually planted some little bits as well in here um, and done a bit of a, a bit of a citrus thing. So we've got an orange plant here. This was taken from my garden. Um, so it wasn't really growing very well in the pot. So I put it in here in the greenhouse and it can overwinter in here. Next to it, we've got a lime and then we've got a lemon tree and then obviously the, the grapevine in the corner. Um, but yeah, yeah, really pleased actually with everything. It's surprising because I'm down here on my own as well. And it really baffles me, really baffles me because as I said, a couple of times I've come up down here and just, just sat here 
um, listen to the wind, <laughs> the rain. Um, but I just sat here and just had my own thoughts to myself, just chillax, text on my phone a little bit, you know. I don't, I, I don't understand it. I'm baffled. And just let me know about your um, about your sites. Are people visiting your sites, or are you on your own? Um, be really good to know in the comments, actually, because um, it just seems like it's got to autumn and everyone's gone. <laughs> so one of those things, I guess. But uh, oh no, we've got there's a car pulling up. I'm not on my own. <gasps> I've got a fellow human. <laughs> How bizarre. But yeah, it's really good. Um, but yeah, um, it's that time of year where you have to pay your plot fees as well. Um, so a few of us have been talking about the fees that we pay. And I mean, it cost me £60 for this plot. And my other plot um, cost me £48 for the year. Which I don't think is bad because we get this, um, the, here we get these bays. So we get the leaf mould, we get the wood chip, all free. Um, and then on the end, we get some manure. So if you do need any manure, then it's it's 50p a barrel, a, a barrow, like a wheelbarrow, um, which I don't think is very much at all. I think that's that's really good. Um, so for you know two wheelbarrows for a pound, I could pretty much do quite a whole thing. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, but yeah, that's it really for this week. Um, it's it's just really nice. I mean, I, I, the weather's horrible, but you can't help that. It's the time of year and it's where I am down in the south and we're right on the coast, so we get the worst of it. So, but yeah, I feel quite pleased for today. Um, got the peas in, so yeah, it's all good. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Um, I'd love it if you like the video, just to give it a like. Um, just helps helps me tell you that you know you liked it, so it's great. Um, but yeah, catch you later, guys. Bye for now.